today's challenge is not swearing. So we're not gonna. We're back, we're here, we're gonna make supreme pizza nachos. What's on a supreme pizza? What do you like on a pizza? Put that on nachos and it's delicious. I'm gonna start off with making a red sauce. I want it to be a really chunky sauce. So we're gonna use diced tomatoes. We're gonna dice up some yellow onion in this too, just a small one, you don't need a lot. So that's gonna go into there. Is that sizzling? It means it's hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt just to help soften it. We're gonna put some garlic. If you notice, I look confused because I am. I'm pretty sure I got sugar out before. Amanda took it. Amanda took it. Put it away somewhere. She's trying to me over my video. I, you know what I'm talking about. You took my little thing of sugar, didn't you? Yeah, that's where I had it. <laughs> I forgot to put it on set. I need, oh, I need some sugar. Give me some sugar. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. The reason I add sugar to a red sauce or something is because tomatoes are weird. Like you never know, like it's seasonal, it's all the stuff, you're canning it, yada yada. I add a little bit of sugar sometimes to help just mellow out the flavor of the tomatoes. Um, I'm gonna just kinda chop up, mince the garlic here. For those of you who don't know, this is my third out for the day. This is our third video of the day. <laughs> so yes, my mind is spacing out a little bit, okay? We're gonna add the garlic in there. Mmm, so good. You know what else is good? White wine while you're cooking. Or red, or bourbon. Anything your little heart desires. This is gonna go in here. Diced tomatoes. I'm gonna put in a little bit chili flakes. Give it a bit of a kick. It's kind of a move not to add chili flakes. Just saying. In Supreme Pizza Nachos, we're gonna put all these ingredients. We're gonna put some mushrooms, we're gonna put some sausage, some red onions, some pepperoni, some bacon, some green pepper, mozzarella. And so we've got like eight to 10 slices of bacon or so. Thinly slicing, roughly chopping the bacon. I'm like getting some heartburn indigestion and I'm drinking some wine and I can feel it. And the fact that like the things that give me heartburn in my life are the things I love the most, like garlic, onion, tomatoes, wine, they all give me heartburn. I'm gonna add some butter to my sauce. I'm just gonna break it up into little pieces. I'm gonna let that go. We're gonna slice up some mushrooms. I know people like to clean their mushrooms. Is it weird that I don't? I hate cleaning mushrooms. Dirt don't hurt. You can buy like pre-sliced mushrooms if you want to, if you want to sit here and slice it. Look at that, see that big chunk of dirt? Get rid of it, all right? Bacon does smell good. Garlic and onions, better. Bacon's good. The reason why we're cooking the bacon first, I'm gonna remove this with a slotted spoon and we're gonna cook everything in the bacon fat. This bacon fat's awesome. Why wouldn't you? This is perfect. The, it actually, you don't even need to like season it. Butter improved it. Butter improves everything. You have to get in close on this. Look at the bacon, I'm sorry. This is so beautiful. Bacon frying in its own fat. Look at it just sizzling away. Like don't put your finger in there, that will burn you bad. But look at it, it's beautiful. But you're gonna take this out because it's gonna go into the oven. So it doesn't need to be completely cooked necessarily. So this is spicy and sweet Italian sausage right into here. About two of each. Oof. Okay, you're gonna take this and cook it. Just nice into little nuggets, break it up with your spoon. So as a kid, my mom always used to order, like we would order pizza. My topping of choice was mushroom. My friend turned me on to this. Pepperoni and hot peppers as like a combination is really good. But you don't need too many toppings on pizza. For me, less is more. But if you're making pizza nachos, more is more. Okay, this is pretty much done. We can break it up into smaller pieces. A rough little dicer And while I'm also dicing this, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cook my pepperoni a little bit. Get it nice and crisp. You can eat pepperoni like this, like this is fine to eat, obviously, but I don't know, I wanted to kind of get a little bit of like that roni cup little thing that we get. Just kind of putting it in the fat and everything is nice. I'm putting these all on paper towel lined plates just to suck up some of that grease. Like look at all this grease in there. The thing about this recipe is that it's time consuming-ish. Like there's a lot of prep work that goes into this, but then like it's just a matter of assembling and cooking it off. So it's like pretty easy. But also like, is this that hard? No. It's really not that hard. Cups, bacon, sausage, delicious. We're gonna add our mushrooms into here. Oh damn, there's a lot of, a lot of grease in there. 
so good. People home watching are just like, this again with all her fat. It's not that bad, I swear, it's, it's fine. We're gonna season it with some salt. Red onion. I love just like throwing through the trash can and completely missing. Completely. I was at the gym this morning and some guy was on the treadmill and there's a trash can a little bit away from him and he like is drinking his water and he's like <sighs> and threw his water bottle, his empty water bottle at the trash can and it flew off because it didn't hit there at all. And I'm like, is that guy gonna pick his water bottle? He didn't, he didn't pick it up, I will say that. I did. People are just such a <laughs> Oof, Don't be that guy. If that guy's watching, I saw. All right, ooh, you see that? A little bit crying, a little bit. Slight tear in the eye. So this is our mise en place. We can start assembling this bad boy. Wine break first. The reason we chose pita is because pita rhymes with pizza. So that's why we chose pita. You could use anything. You could use tortilla chips. You can use whatever you want. We're using pita here. Sprinkle with some cheese. So we're kind of doing like, we're building some layers here. This is the key to nachos. Building layers of flavor, okay? Pepperoni. Look at this, this looks so good. A little bit of bacon. Oh my goodness. Add the mushrooms right on top. A little bit of the green peppers. The red onion. This is looking good. Ooh, don't forget your sauce, girl. Dollop some sauce on it. A little more cheese on top. The cheese is glue, essentially. It's gonna help it all bind together. And also cheese. One more layer. So look at this, this is What the Okay, this is ridiculous. We're gonna just go like this. Sauce. Oh, mushrooms too. More cheese on top of this. Again, work out. This is good. It smells like pizza. Come on, we're gonna go in the oven. At like 400 degrees or whatever it's gonna kind of melt everything in there. About 15, 20 minutes. Ice in the wine. It's like a white wine spritzer. Both no spritz, it's just white wine. And ice. Let's look. Oof, look at this. Okay, the cheese is melted. This looks ridiculous. You got the cheese melted. The chips are nice and like brown and golden. Everything just looks perfect. The way I like my pizza is with Parmesan cheese on it. That's what we're doing. That's how we roll. Basil, because it's not pizza without basil. Basil smells so good. Basil's a good, a good herb. Herbs are good. Herbs are good. Real good. It really tastes like pizza. This literally tastes like pizza in nacho form. You can't go wrong with that. What's not to love for the recipe? Click the link in the description below. Make it, eat it, enjoy it.